open the TIA portal project and switch to project view. In project view, expand the online access menu item. Locate the network protocol that the remote I.O. device is connected with and expand the menu item. Double click Update Accessible Devices. The icon will have a rotating arrow while the search is being carried out and a green check when the search is complete. Locate the remote I.O. device. Note the name and addressing and expand the menu item. Double click Online and Diagnostics. The device opens online. Expand the Functions menu item. In this case, we will reset the device to factory settings to clear all past programming from the device. It may not be necessary or desirable to reset the device. If not, skip this step and proceed to reset the IP address. The I.O. device goes offline because the communication addressing is changed back to factory default. We will now go back online with the device to set the proper IP address and assign the system name for the device. Double click Update Accessible Nodes once again. Note the rotating circle as the search progresses. The remote I.O. no longer has a name. It is identified by the MAC address only. Expand the menu item and double click Online and Diagnostics. Expand the Functions menu item and click Assign IP Address. Enter the IP address and subnet mask to match the application requirements. and click the Assign IP Address button. Now we will give the device a unique name required for the network application. Click Assign Name from the Functions menu. Enter the exact name for the device. This name may be used for field bus communication and must match exactly with the name assigned to it elsewhere in the project. When the name is entered, click the Assign Name button. We will need to verify that the correct name and IP address have been assigned to the device. Double click Update Accessible Devices once again to repeat the search. The search verifies that the I.O. device now has the proper IP address and system name. 